This is part two of our interview with Sam Abbott from Compulsion Games. We talked about We Happy Few in the first part. The second part is all about the studio's relationship with Microsoft. Microsoft recently acquired Compulsion Games, and I want to know a little bit more about why the studio decided to go for it and what it means for their future. Guillaume, our CEO, got the call and he called me afterwards and said, listen, man, Microsoft has just asked us to, to, to join their team. And I was like, really? Um, why? <laughs> It was a bit of a surprise when they asked us, actually. Um, we've, we've worked with Microsoft on and off for, um, for three years. So we, we've had a bit of an odd history. So our, our first game, Contrast, was a launch title for PlayStation 4. So we were very, very close with Sony for quite a long time. That was an interesting process. Uh, and then with We Happy Few, Microsoft was extremely interested in the game uh, very, very early on. And uh, we've sort of just been working with them on and off on smaller things like being part of a Gamescom uh, show or in 2016, um, they really wanted to see the game on um, Game Preview and on their um, the E3 showcase, which was, uh, which was great for us. And then sort of earlier this year, they said, oh, hey, so what, what, do, you, what do you feel about uh, joining us and being a Microsoft studio? And we sort of said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> um, because it's not the sort of thing you expect a studio of our size to be asked. Basically, they, um, they're they interested in um, groups of people who create interesting new worlds, um, which uh, I'm, I think they believe of us, and hopefully we can prove that to be the case. Really, it was just the um, strength of what we'd done together as a team, I think, uh, and, um, and their appreciation for uh, Guillaume, our studio head, and really... That was it. And, and, and for us, we, we thought, okay, well, it's a sort of once in a lifetime opportunity. When you're an independent, there are a lot of things that uh, cause you a great deal of stress. Any, any independent studio will, will, will tell you about this stuff. There's so much uncertainty relating to finance and relating to support that you will get. So let's imagine that you have a game that, that you, you feel very strongly in, but no one else cares and it sort of dies because no one knows about it. And you see a, a bunch of games on, um, on Steam that are like that with incredibly high ratings, but just there aren't that many people playing them for whatever reason and some independent teams do very well out of self-publishing but many also believe that as the investment in your projects go up so too does the support that you need to sort of promote and get the word out there uh, in the end it's kind of the same reasoning why we went with gearbox for the publishing and marketing deal was that we were reinvesting in the game um a very considerable amount of money to the point that we were no longer confident that we could self like self-publish ourselves. And so you're always worried about how um, how the game's going to do, how um, how you're going to put you know bread on the table for your team. It's a very it's a serious thing, and I mean a lot of developers will sort of hint at this shit, but it uh, it can be extremely stressful. And so there's the security and safety side of it that we would no longer have to worry about if we're part of Microsoft, but there's also the opportunity side. So one of the things that as an independent you can't really do, you can't you can't say, gosh, I'd love to make Deus Ex 7, you know, like I am I am absolutely the right person to do that with my 12 person team. You're not, you know, you need a bigger team, you need growth, you need support and investment. And while we don't think about um, growing the studio as being important, it's more that we'll be far less restricted in our ambition. So in terms of what we think this game should be, we no longer, well, we probably won't have as many restrictions on that. So for example, we won't say, okay, well, we've got about a million bucks in the bank. Uh, so we've got about mm, three months. So let's build a three month game. You know, that's, that's how you think more as an independent, but when you're part of a bigger company, you think more in terms of, um, okay, over the long term, this is what we can hopefully build and you can get approval for it. And it's, you have different things that you need to worry about, like making sure that the people at Microsoft agree with what we want to do and that sort of thing. But so far, we're feeling very positive about about their team and about um, about what we'll be able to do in the future. So yeah, that's, that's really it. I mean, when you're a big studio or you're part of a big studio, the pressures on you change. Uh, and we've had enough of worrying about where our next pizza is coming from. I'm excited about worrying about um, making something really great.
that's that's what we're excited about. So that was part two of our interview with Sam Abbott from Compulsion Games. If you haven't seen the first part yet, there should be a link in the description below. You can watch that. It's all about We Happy Few, how the game has changed from early access into the full-blown AAA game that we have today. Let us know down in the comments below what you think of what Sam had to say. Remember to like and subscribe if you did happen to enjoy the video. There should be another video on your screens right now if you want to watch that and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.